Welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telelumir TV. On the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the re-establishment of the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem, Nursat Satellite Regional Office in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, represented by its director Dr. Basim Sam'an and all colleagues, extend its warmest congratulations from His Betijit Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, and to all the clergy of the Patriarchate and its faithful in the Holy Land, hoping that the memory will be repeated and that security and peace may be achieved throughout the whole world. Now let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis, it is Jesus who bandages hearts and heals the wounds of the past. The Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem celebrates the 75th anniversary of its founding. The parish of the Virgin of Nazareth thanks Father Hremat for his spiritual service. We also have Bishop Anthemus Jack Yaqub, Patriarchal Delegate of the Syriac Orthodox in the Holy Land. Welcome back. In the context of his apostolic visit to Canada, His Holiness Pope Francis presided over the Divine Liturgy in Quebec and delivered a sermon in which he said, While we carry the dreams, projects, expectations and hopes that dwell in our hearts, we collide with our fragility and weakness, experience defeats and disappointments, and sometimes we remain captives to the sense of failure. The Gospel declares to us that we are not alone. The Lord comes to meet us and stands by us. He wants to open our eyes again to be reconciled with each other, with ourselves, with our brothers, and with God. His Holiness went on to say, From here we must believe that Jesus walks beside us, so let us allow him to meet us. Let us allow his word to explain to us his history we live as individuals and as a group, and to show us the path we must follow in order to heal and to reconcile with one another. Pope Francis concluded his homily calling on to the Lord Jesus to stay with us, when hope is absent, because the night of suffering with him turns into a bright morning of life, and to walk by our side because failure will open to the hope of a new life. The Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem celebrates the 75th anniversary of its re-establishment by His Holiness Pope Pius IX. At the time, Father Yusuf Lija was appointed Patriarch of the Holy City, and the Latin Patriarchate has since continued its blessed faith mission in the service of all Christians in the land. A Divine Mass was held in the Church of the Virgin of Nazareth in Swafi Amman, presided over by Father Antoine Hremat, the parish priest, in the presence of Monsignor Hanna Kildani, a group of deacons, servants, and most of the activities of the parish and the faithful. The liturgy was on the intentions of Father Hremat after the end of his service in Amman and his assignment to pastor of the Catholic community affiliated with the Latin Patriarchate in Cyprus. The parishioners also presented spiritual symbols that spoke about the service of Father Ihrimat and the strength of his relationship with the Lord Jesus and our Virgin Mary through the Gospel, the Cross, the Rosary and other spiritual symbols. And with strong feelings of love, Father Ihrimat addressed the parish, thanking them for their support in the celebration of his service at the end of his nine years of the church service. At the end of the celebration, the priest and the parishioners exchanged peace of love and the brotherhood of Christ. The Orthodox Church celebrated the ordination of Brother Lahib Hanna, an evangelical deacon in the name of Nikephorus, during the Divine Liturgy held at the Church of the Lord's Entry into the Temple in Swafiyya. The liturgy was presided over by Archbishop Christophorus Atallah, Greek Orthodox Metropolitan of Jordan, with the participation of Rome Metropolitan Vindictus. After receiving the blessing of his spiritual father for ordination, Brother Lahib spoke thanking God for granting him this holy blessing. Then His Eminence spoke addressing the new deacon, It is your love and your zeal that give you this holy grace. I ask of you to remember that you are the Son of Christ and the Kingdom, and to hold fast to your roots. Several priests, deacons and the new deacon's family and parishioners participated in the service. His Betitude the Syriac Orthodox Patriarch Ignitus Ephraim II addressed a letter to the priests, monks, deacons and the Syriac parish appointing Archbishop Anthemus Jack Yaqub as Patriarchal Delegate to the Patriarchal Vicariate in Jerusalem, Jordan and all the Holy Land to manage its affairs until the appointment of a vicar for the diocese and authorizing Archbishop Anthemus and all administrative, spiritual and pastoral powers assigning to him by the constitution of the Church. His appointment comes after the ascending of the Triangle of Mercy Archbishop Mara Gabriel to the Heavenly Kingdom. Her Royal Highness Princess Ali Al Hussein, Honorary President of the Jordanian Stamps and Coin Collectors Association, sponsored the opening ceremony of the fourth international exhibition organized by the association in the gallery of the Greater Amman Municipality. The three-day exhibition included displaying pictures of the Hashemites' march through postage stamps and publicizing the book, 
the journey of the Hashemite kings by the association's president, Jalil Tannous. Princess Alia stressed that the stamps represent a historical legacy that records the historical, political, economic, and cultural development of the kingdom, and an important part of the Jordanian historical and civilized archive and documentation. St. George's Cathedral of the Melkite Greek Catholic in Umm Summa celebrated the opening of the annual summer camp for the Melkite Greek Catholic Scouts and Guides group entitled Jesus is Our Love. The camp, which lasted for four days and about 180 parishioners, along with the scouts, participated in it, included religious lectures and awareness and entertainment programs for the participants, presented by the parish priest Father Bassam Shahatit and the deacon Jerry Stabit. His Beatitude Patriarch Cardinal Louis Rafael Sacco celebrated the Divine Liturgy in the Church of Deir al-Masbah in Baghdad on the opening of the Electoral College of the Chaldean Sisters of Mary's Daughters. In his sermon, his Beatitude focused on the meaning of consecration, offering ourselves to God with lasting joy, and living the collective life as one in harmony and cohesion as a family. His Beatitude also asked the nuns to think of drawing a roadmap to suit the new circumstances socially, culturally and spiritually in light of the 100th anniversary of their founding. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news and those were the headlines. Pope Francis, it is Jesus who bandages hearts and heals the wounds of the past. The Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem celebrates the 75th anniversary of its founding. The Parish of the Virgin of Nazareth thanks Father Hrimat for his spiritual service. Bishop Anthemus Jacques Yaqub, Patriarchal Delegate of the Syriac Orthodox in the Holy Land. For more information, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.